Eurofins Test Oil's Asset Link mobile sampling app is a tool that allows you to link equipment information to lubricant samples using your mobile device and eliminates the need to handwrite sample labels. Asset Link includes tools to manage sampling routes, provide equipment and sample feedback, view equipment and lubricant conditions, view PDF reports, and update equipment information. It is a one-stop solution to save over 50% of time spent sampling. Here's a summary of the features and functions available in AssetLink. AssetLink's landing page is a program dashboard. From here, we can select the plant area or machine grouping, filter by a range of dates, and see summaries of the lubricant conditions and machine conditions, assets that have been sampled versus those that have not been sampled, a summary of the anomalies or problems discovered in testing, as well as the number of assets that have been tagged and untagged. More about tags in a moment. On the bottom, we have four menu options, Home, which brings us back to this program dashboard, Routes, Assets, and Links. Eurofins Test Oil will supply QR code equipment asset tags and sample bottle labels to facilitate use of Asset Link. Let's walk through how we link equipment information to a sample bottle. First, select Links from the bottom menu bar. From this page, there are four ways to link an equipment asset to a sample. First, if you have a QR code equipment tag supplied by Eurofins Test Oil linked to this machine already, simply scan that tag. Second, if the equipment has a 1D barcode on the serial plate or elsewhere, simply scan the barcode to link the machine. Third, if the equipment asset is already uploaded to your data site database, enter the equipment name in this field and select the appropriate asset from the list. And last, if your equipment is not yet registered to your database, it can be added from the assets page by selecting the blue plus symbol. Images and equipment information can be added here. Simply click Save when complete, and from here, a QR barcode or one-dimensional bar tag can be added by clicking Tag, and the sample can be linked by clicking the Sample button. Any of these methods will bring you to this page, where you can link a sample bottle with a QR code label. If scanning a QR code is not an option, the bottle ID on the label can be entered in this field here. Once a bottle ID is linked to the equipment, enter any sample-specific information, freehand notes, images, or any other observations, and click Save to complete your linking. Your sample is now linked to your equipment. If you would like to unlink a sample from an equipment asset, select that sampled asset from the asset list, which can be found using the sampled filter on the top of the page. Select the green chain link icon next to the sampled asset you wish to unlink, and simply click Yes to unlink the sample. From here, we arrive back on the asset linking page, where a new bottle can be scanned to sample this equipment asset. To update equipment information, select Assets on the bottom menu. Assets can be filtered using the shortcuts on the top of the page. With any of these filters selected, we can select ascending or descending alphabetical order by equipment name, or click the funnel for additional filter options. To update equipment information, select an asset, then select the edit icon on the top right. All asset specific information can be added or edited from here, as well as adding images by simply selecting the camera icon. Images can be added directly from your device's camera or from your device's photo library. When complete, select Save to update your equipment information. From the Asset page, we can also update the equipment tag, as well as add a sample. Different equipment requirements and operational schedules can necessitate different sampling schedules. That's why we created the Routes function. Routes can be populated on your data site program portal and will link directly to your Asset Link account. Routes are groups of equipment specific to one sampling job. Selecting a route, then selecting Continue will display a user-specified list of equipment assets to be sampled in a single job, perhaps in the specific order listed. Consider this a work list. This list of assets will indicate whether or not a piece of equipment has been sampled, as indicated by the sampled icon here. Selecting the asset will bring us back to the asset detail page for that piece of equipment. From the asset page, we can also add new equipment. Although we recommend pre-registering your equipment through your data site program portal or by contacting us directly before linking a sample. You may want to communicate information about a sample, such as visual observations, sample-specific images, and add these to a job summary. The job report is a job summary which lists all samples taken, those not taken, the individual that took the samples, and a description of the job. A list of the samples taken from a specific route as well as those not collected and any custom observations made by the technician that took the samples will be included. This job report will be generated and emailed to any individuals specified by the program administrator for a quick summary and the ability to audit a sampling route. Now you can see how using AssetLink can streamline sample collection 
and save 50% of time spent in sampling activities. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please reach out to our customer engagement team at 216-251-2510, or you can chat live or find our Contact Us page at testoil.com. Have a great day.